Good evening everybody, welcome to Run Out Club TV, it's Mal here and I'd like to give a special warm welcome to my co-commentator Rob who is doing a bit of commentary today, um, just noticing we have a bit of a jutting issue, it seems to be improving. Okay, you went in off there. Now, uh, I am in the, just before I bring Rob in to say hello and where you can find him on YouTube, I'm in the final of uh, the double elimination ranking event. So I've worked my way through the winner's side and I'm now, well, I went through one match on the loser's side but I'm back in the final against Shogun who, Shotgun, who did beat me. Um, but this is the first time I'll have to win twice to actually win it. But uh, guaranteed, probably my highest ever ranking, no matter what happens. Um, so Rob, where can people find you on the YouTube? Yeah, if everybody goes to uh, Rob's Life 100, uh, you'll see my little uh, vlog on there. Uh, we'll talk about everything from dating right the way through to uh, life. Well done. Right, so first uh, rack in the bag. Um, hope it's smooth for you guys. This is one of the things that having a new computer, Rob, which I'm planning on getting soon, would make it a lot better. It wouldn't quite be as jumpy because the fraps would work better in the background than what it is. It still works fine, it just means it's recording, so it's a little bit more jumpy, but it's still playable. Kind of used to it now. Scratch break there, man. Yeah, and uh, not something you can really afford to do against shotgun. Uh, the computer opponent's very good. Um, made a mistake in the first rack, you don't get many of those. So, first to 11. It's a nice shot there. So shotgun looks like Rob is going to clear up this one for 1-1. One, one. Again, very tough opponent. I might, might not win this one, but I'm happy with what I've done so far. Runner up in a double LM. Is a f I've won the winner's side three times, as everyone knows, but I haven't managed to get anywhere else. Double LM, I think the best I've done is a third place, so I've already done better than anything I've done before. It's a lovely positional shot there, a little touch of right-hand side. Tempted fate just a little bit, but an easy nine. One one. That's going to be in. Yeah, the one's just sneaking into the top corner pocket there. Combination shot coming here. Now the white could go behind the nine here. Now. You'd be thinking maybe you get a bit excited, but he's probably just going to jump this and be on the red. What a mistake. Try a bit of English there. Yep. Right. Uh, tough here to get on the on the five. So what I'm going to probably do here is play it with some right-hand side, or left-hand side, sorry, to try and kick around the eight and into the nine. So just want to try make contact with something now. I've missed that, which is unfortunate. And the really bad thing is, is that I've now left potentially the combo in the corner. So what I'm going to try and do here, do I play safe? What do I do? Um, probably going to try and go behind the eight ball here. This could end up going horribly wrong. Which it has. Yeah, that's not good. So a bit unfortunate there. I think that was a bit, bit of a mistake. Not to, The mistake obviously wasn't that shot really. It was the shot before. Unfortunately, with uh, the way that uh, shotgun actually plays, um, one slight mistake and that is it. Yeah, it's, it's very rare that he makes more than a couple of mistakes in the match, so you really have to be on your game. Is beatable, I've beaten him before, uh, but it's again one of, the one of the better players. Particularly when I think, I don't know whether it's written into the code, but sometimes the computer plays a momentum game really, where you do find that white heading in. Those are the types of chances that you get, you know, you get one chance for a run out and then on a table like this I'd be expecting to, you know, clear up quite a lot out of, out of ten. Certainly if I want to win this match I need to be doing that. And to be 
fair, there's nothing here to slip you up. You've just got to pop, make sure you're popping well and play a good position. This one's just, just got to think about this a little bit. These are the ones on BP, BP3, you would do that quite easy. Now, I haven't played that very well at all. I'm now going to have to... What's the easiest way of doing this? Probably straight back across. I don't want to do anything. One of my catchphrases on here is no heroics. <laughs> just play the simple shot and try to stay at the table. Pool's a simple game. If you never miss, you never lose. Well, uh, at least uh, on that rack anyway. So it's 2-2 two, two with our break. Now what I want to do in this match is make sure that I'm not going in off. Which is one of the... Um, oh, there we have a... Oh, white down. We did, but we've just got a fortunate mate on that two long. <coughs> Probably going to push it here. I'm going to push back down to this area. And believe yesterday I was playing in the semis, of obviously, here, and uh, did a push out, a push out without actually Call pressing the push. Yeah. So, right, so he's passed past it. So I'm probably going to go for the the double. And if I miss the double, I might get the treble. Oh, that was a bit unlucky, actually. Now, what do you see here, Rob? Oh, I would say. Um, off the blue two. Oh, he's oh, missed it. Missed it. Now has he left it? Don't want this white to slide behind the black. Which it has. Yes. So that is unlucky. So... I've got a couple of options here. You can come off the side rail and... Uh, I think I'm going to hit this at speed and hope it goes safe. I might have actually flipped this in the bottom corner. That couldn't have come off any worse, that kiss on the floor, unfortunately. Was unfortunately. It was a hit and hold job. Well, the other option there you had was actually to uh, to jump. Um, jump over. Uh, tricky to get on the four here. Which he hasn't done, um, unless he really goes for a thin hit, but then you're losing the white ball. Oh, he played a fluke. That was actually brilliant. That was the type of shot that sh shotgun plays. If you think that was a fluke, everyone, I don't believe it was. I think the computer worked that one out. And that white's flirting with the corner, but it's all right. Bit straight, though. Going to need to be... Oh, that was an interesting one. Has he played safe? If he has, it hasn't worked. Stop! Oh, what was it there? <laughs> it's just there, Malcolm, I believe. You can just uh, get through to the, uh, the six. So... Oh, I missed it. Oh, but I fluked it! Oh, yes. <laughs> I think it... Uh, Tunnel ball of the <laughs> Rob's catchphrases. Got to make the most of it, though, mate, that right? You do, indeed. I think the old, uh, the old glass jaw laugh will be coming out very shortly. 3-2. Right, so that was a nice piece of luck, everybody, and obviously you do need a pool if you're going to be successful sometimes that's a nice nick off the and I've left I've got a very easy safety shot which Rob will no doubt see very quickly so it, actually I don't know if I've got that I should go for the double here I don't know. well the double is on Malcolm um. oh if I just sneak by can this I get the two to be tight I think, I think it's there mate I'm going to go for it I'm just going to cheat it just there. So it's fair to say we're getting the best of the luck at the minute and uh, moving just a little bit ahead of shot. Maybe if I manage to have hit that all wrong. Dear, 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 dear. Right, I might have to play a very. Ooh, I might have just got away with that. Again, not what I had planned at all. I think you got over that one very well there, Malcolm. Thank you, mate. So easy for things to go wrong there. Not yeah. a side, not a side on there. Yeah. Throw the throw the, the white. white off the the top cush there. Good recovery. And it looks like we're going to be running out this rack. So that fluke that we had, very much, you know, can be turning more than one rack. You know, so it's that purple's in. And now you're just hoping for nothing to impede the route of the any ball really, but particularly the low ball. Uh, 
So we now have to play a little bit creative here. We don't want the white to go behind the nine. This is all about speed control. Can we have another chance to run out, which is always nice, mate. Nice start. It is, yes. Uh, try and build the lead against his, uh, his opponent because he will come back at you and you know for a fact he will. As well as that, um, what you do, people who watch my channel a lot will see that uh, if you can build a lead against the computer, it does sometimes create some mistakes. And that happens, you know, it could be a bit of a runaway. And not when you do that. And I think I might have fluked it. Oh dear. Not good. Bad timing. I have a little bit lucky on where that's landed, but it is cuttable. And he will get it. And that he is. Now he hasn't left well, this Well, he easy. just got that. Uh, didn't uh, wiped its feet, as we say. That didn't. And that one has not yet, dropped. What are we hoping for now? Ooh. Nice little nudge on the, on the nine to bring the white back out into open play. I've got to be careful here, mate, because it's right in the jaws. I cannot really... So, again, the trick, the trick with these shots is you've got to finish a little bit higher on the, on the nine to make sure of the, of the pot. That one has just gone awkward. I'm just wondering if Possibly it's double. worth... Possibly uh, double's not on. I don't even know whether the cut's on. If I'm just going to be leaving it, I might just uh, try and get behind the three here. It just lets that hanging out to play. And this is the type of shot where the computer will punish you for it because you just haven't quite made it. And again, suddenly now it's you know rack on at five three. And remember what we say about the eight racks. It's always better to be much closer to eight nil than seven one eight six two five three five three. It's game on. That could be behind the nine. Not quite. You know you could make a mistake. Especially now that white has run away and is close to the middle bag. This could be behind the nine ball. I think it's just going to sneak Ooh, past. That was, that was lucky. That wouldn't have been how anyone would play that shot. But a nice positional shot off the eight leaves an easy nine ball. So it's 5 3. Nothing to panic about. Remember, if we were to score again, we're on the hill at 10 6. So, you know, no panic stations just yet. Just keep plugging away. I think there's dropped there, so he's scratched on the break. No, he hasn't scratched scratches if you go in off, he's dry braked. Sorry, dry braked. <laughs> Do apologise, folks. This is a commentary feed down the toilet. <laughs> 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 he's like, what commentary feed? Exactly, it was a surprise. Right, that, that is not a good shot, but I think the double remains on, or a nice safety behind the seven. Well, I think he might have left that mid, I'm going to see he's left it. He hasn't left it, but there is a jump on. Jump cue out. I think I might just be not offline there. I think I've blown that. The worst thing you can do is take the jump off and put the butt back down. We need to line the pot up again. So there, jump shot and then lift. Make sure the cue is straight. And we're back in. So 6-3 would feel an awful lot better than 5-4. could play a nice shot around a few angles here and in nine ball it's never essential to be spot on as you guys know but it does help especially in pressure situations not to make your life too difficult I think I'm going to be okay here more by good luck than good management there might be a route to the top corner pocket which there isn't so now I am in a bit of trouble it looks like a very hard hard one to the uh, middle pocket this can go wrong. Yep, it can, mate. And that's a. You know, I never get too worried about mistakes because I always think, you know, I am going to make them. Um, you just have to manage them, you know, you just hope they're not at the really important moments. But certainly 6 3 instead of 5 4 is. Uh, but it would have been nice, so. I'm going to be spot that one. 
But you have to remember, guys, those are turning points are something that you look at in hindsight. If, you, if I suddenly went out with 20 racks here, you know, it's, there's no turning point. Can I get two to that? I wonder if I can just... Think that's worth going for? Possibly. Oh, but I haven't left that. In reality, I should hit that hardware to put it. Like, can you get that one? Irritating. These are the types of things you'll find against this, this computer opponent. He plays like really good starting shots and then just clears up. So you leave little half chances and the computer will just punish you repeatedly and repeatedly for it. But that's cool. That's all part of winning games. You've got to play well. And it would be, you know, if you gave us all chances every time, it wouldn't be interesting because you couldn't, it would be too easy to win. Because when you're playing well, you just annihilate it. So that's quite the trump. Computer playing well, we're halfway through the match, and that nine is close. Halfway through the match, and we are level, and that nine ball has helped us out immensely. And we're going to get a push, push out, out yeah. into a pot, into a doubling position. So I'm, I'm actually going to go for this. That's a very, very well played. Look at where the white's finished, right in the jaws of the pocket. Recovery. It's always difficult to to get out of situations like that. No, I haven't quite done it, mate. Oh, I don't believe that. Unforgivable. Absolutely unforgivable. That was really tough. Really tough. Never made that mistake. Hello, Roof. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, dear, dear. That was. That hurt. <laughs> so, it's not over, don't forget, but you know, there's been a couple of chances now, and if I do go on to lose this game, you can pretty much point to a couple of key mistakes at the minute that could have made the score was a lot more positive in my favour than what it's going to be. That again is. And he's going for a mad enough here. Oh! And he's missed it. He's missed it. That's interesting. First sign of uh, the computer being a little bit under pressure here. Right, I'm just going to restart the fraps. You, you guys won't notice anything different. So, guys, thank you for that. Um, we are 6-5 up in a very uncharacteristic mistake by Shotgun to miss a 9-ball. You do not get any close. So, let's hope that that's a sign that... Oh, God, Rob, look at the ugly board over there. Yeah, the, the only good thing about that uh, ugly part of the board over there, as you say, is uh, the five is actually sticking out, so you can't play the combination shot. Well, let's have a look at that, mate, because I don't think there's a bit of an issue here with the nub of that pocket. So you'd have you to want, you've got to be absolutely spot on positional wise. And would it be a good idea here to play off the, th the six ball? Well, actually, you're probably right. There's probably a, I might hit this. Here. I don't know. Well, I've hit it anyway, so. And I've at least made that three times worse. <laughs> well, yes, for the six. So um, we'll put this and then we'll think about what on earth we're doing with the uh, with the five ball. Um, now here I could probably play... You might have an angle off this... Uh, I could probably play, play for an angle here. So if I just knock this forward... I might have gone just a bit too far. Can you I? Maybe you will just say clip the... Uh, far right hand side of the six just to leave the double on make it the nine you know. reverse double this I think we'll see that means to replay Mr. D yes I think we'll see a replay on the shot here oh yes right seven five good play uh, I've lost the white. Yeah. And I can't get that, that one ball. So we're going to have to push here, folks. I'm lucky I didn't go in off there. As you can see, look, just a bit. That is the only way forward I can go. So we're going to push. Call the push out. And let's work out where we push to. So probably straight down the table to leave. And don't forget, we can play through a ball. So let's 
leave the white on the back cushion. That's probably a little bit further to the right than what I wanted. I didn't want to leave my pot and angle. This could be put in. Right, he's missed it. So it all depends on where this white finishes off. It's finished high enough, so it can play with a double here. To hit it at pace. Not got it, but this is an easier jump than the last one, so. Ah, Henman fist pump time, come on. Right, uh, chance here. Don't want it. There we go, just don't want it. Right, this moment in time, Shotgun must be feeling like Djokovic after Murray beat him there in Wimbledon a few weeks ago. Don't do that, I can't monetize it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so seven five. We I'm sure, YouTube didn't hear that bit. You only look at the first five seconds anyway. Right, so guys, we are. That is not true, by the way, folks. Yeah. Because obviously they'd watch all of my videos for that good. Right, eight five. When we move ahead, we're starting to get clear. So three. We need three. He needs six. Where's the nine ball going? Where's the nine ball going? Nine ball has dropped, folks, so that means Malcolm is now only two two frames away from victory here. But that, this is, remember, guys, unfortunately, it's only that I've lost the white again. Ooh. And I've dry braked it, and again, had a little bit of luck. And what's the ugly ball on the table, Robbo? It's the five ball. Absolutely. He's pushing out, and he's very sensibly might be just going to move that five ball a little bit. Ooh, now. Very, very interesting. Because that is a makeable jump. But what do I do with the five? Does the five go? The five does go. Does not go. That doesn't go. Hmm. What would you guys do? What do you reckon? I could get into the four. I think I need to go for it. I would go for this. Because um, he's going to go for it, isn't he? Yes. That's, uh, right. Let's do it. So now we need to be thinking about the five. This is all or nothing here, folks, because... Um, I'm going to let that one get away a little bit. Didn't mean to do that. So we're just going to play it nice and steady. Right. This one is going to be played with top left-hand side. And we are aiming to get into this, these two balls here. Go, go on. I haven't done it. I'm not on it. I think that... Uh, Do I go for the con girl? combo? Combo. Yeah, I think the combination shot here will be the, probably the, west, uh, the best way to go. Uh, it's definitely makeable. Didn't get there. Unfortunately, but those you know it was a tough shot. Tough shot. Could have played that ten times. I reckon I might have got it once, maybe twice. So you know that would have been nice to get up the hill that way, but alas, not this time. Now that is going to be a tough cut. Another tough cut. This could be behind the, the eight. No, it's not going. It's going to be fine. Yes, there's more cuts happening here than uh, what happens with the, the public in the UK. What we used to cut. And there he goes, shotgun, he's starting to do the, the patented comeback. Now, where's this going? You can still get it. That, that was fortunate, actually. Oh, oh, he's missed it. But he hasn't left it. No. So I'm just going to have to now play it. Now, that was an unfortunate hit on the purple four ball because that otherwise would not have been on for him. So a little bit of luck for, for shotgun there. Um around the block here if it hits the seven he's in trouble and he is in trouble but look where it went and, and he's, he's missed, missed it and if he hits the seven that will be an absolute godsend but he hasn't right i need to get into the seven here mate so test to me control. well played that there could be the could be the 
the shot that wins the shot first match. Okay. That wins the first match. Shotgun must be hurting really bad now. If he had emotions, I think he would be crying his little he would capacitors. Be, he would definitely be sprotted. Sprotted indeed. Right, I think we might have a chance here up for the clearance. Looks good. Two ball dropping helped. Yeah, makes it really bit easier. This is not what I wanted. This is a bad shot. I think I'm just going to screw back to the side cushion here. And just gently does it. That that was not planned, people. Um, so I want to be in the middle bag here. Keep going. And of course, with the six dropping on the on the break as well things a little bit easier. Right, so two balls away now. It's just nice and easy now, nothing nothing's crazy. You know what happens with people that are on the hill, on the old Mick Hill. And it's there. Yes. Right. Well Clark wins. And if we just see what that means for the for the title everybody, that means that we are into the second Final. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, Rob, for your commentary. No problem at all. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. And if you do have a chance, check out Rob's Life 100 on YouTube. And, uh, of course, virtualpool4blog.com, runout.tv. Thanks for watching, guys.